Hey folks, here's the answer to the FRQ problem I posted on Schoology. Just wanted to take you through how to solve this problem. The whole objective of this, is, of this problem is to identify substance X, it's a metal. And we need to do so by finding the molar mass. So what we need to do is, by finding the molar mass, we need to find grams per mole. Now, it's going to take a couple steps in order to do this, but it's possible. So watch how I do it. We know that all of this substance is dissolved, and after several steps, all of the bromine was precipitated in the form of AgBr3. So if we can determine how much Br there was in the AgBr, then we'll be able to use that and figure out how, many, how much bromine was in the XBr4. So the beginning of this problem is going to focus around the Br content in AgBr. So we found that there's 13.2160 grams of silver in the AGBR. But we don't know how much total AGBR there was produced. Now if I'm thinking correctly mathematically, if you compare the mass of Ag divided by the total mass of the AGBR, you can also set that equal to the ratio of the mass of molar mass of Ag over the molar mass of AGBR. Because these two numbers are proportional, 107 to 187, then the actual mass of Ag should be proportional, 13.2 to x. I'm going to cross multiply and divide, and x is equal to 23.01 grams of AgBr. Now if I subtract out the mass of the Ag from the AgBr, I'll get the mass of the bromine alone. So the answer is 9.7898 grams of Br. Now since all of the Br was precipitated, then that equals the, num the mass of the BR in the original sample. And I was given the mass of the original sample is 12.5843 grams. So if I subtract this number out of 12.5843, I should be able to figure out the mass of the X. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Now that alone doesn't help me very much, but I'm almost finished with this problem. What I'm gonna do is take the mass of BR and use stoichiometry to figure out if I have 9.7898 grams of BR, how many moles of X would I produce? So I'm going to scroll up to give myself a little bit more room here and execute this problem. Here's the setup. Taking a look, I'm starting number divided by the molar mass of bromine, and I do this multiple -mole ratio. If you know, remember, a molecule broken down, if I took one mole of XBr4, I get one mole of X and four moles of Br. So I'm going to use the, this ratio right here, four moles of Br for every one mole of X. If I hit equals, this is going to give me the moles of X that came from this number of grams of XBr, I guess this number of grams of XBr. Then finally I'll take the grams of X that are in the sample divided by the moles of X that are in the sample to get the molar mass. The answer here is 0 0.03063. Finally, I'm going to take 2.7945 grams of X and divide by 0 0.03063 moles of X to find my molar mass. And that molar mass is equal to 91.23 grams per mole. And that number is the same molar mass as zirconium. So the molar mass is 93.1, and the identity of the substance is zirconium. That's how you execute this problem. Thanks for watching.